Hello everyone. The liturgy of the Eucharist begins with the preparation of the gifts. At this point in the Mass, the gifts of bread and wine are brought to the altar by members of the congregation and presented to the priest. The collection and sometimes donations for the poor may also be part of the offertory, but not token items which will be retrieved after Mass. Any work or items associated with a particular celebration, say a parish jubilee mass or even a school leavers mass, as for example programs of work or posters, are best brought up in the entrance procession and placed in the sanctuary and not at the offertory. If the presentation of gifts takes too long or is given too much prominence, especially when the majority of items presented are unconnected to charitable giving, then it tends to overshadow the Eucharistic prayer, the real high point of the Mass. In such cases, the liturgy becomes unhinged. The secret is to keep the Mass balanced, simple and uncluttered. On occasion, celebrating a liturgy of the word can be a far more appropriate liturgy than a mass, especially in school situations if the majority of the kids don't go to Sunday mass. Now, if a sizable segment of the kids come up for a blessing during communion time, a custom which could be questioned, since there's a perfectly adequate blessing given to all at the end of mass, then it might be time for a rethink as to whether mass is the right liturgy for these youngsters. A liturgy of the word or penitential service may be far more appropriate. Sometimes I get the impression that Mass is more pageantry than liturgy. Mass with everything, like chips with everything, to me is not the best pastoral or liturgical practice. When I was going to primary school and secondary school in Ireland, and that wasn't that long ago, school Masses were unheard of. We went to Mass on Sundays and holidays with our families and that was it. School was a place where we learned with rigour the rudiments of the Catholic faith and rightly so. The 1970 instruction from the Congregation of Divine Worship in Rome states The Eucharist is celebrated as a rule in a place of worship. Apart from cases of real need as a judge by the ordinary for his jurisdiction, celebration outside a church is not permitted. Catholic parents should take their kids and teenagers to Mass on a Sunday in fulfilment of the promises they made to God when their children were baptised. The purpose of any chant at this point in the Mass, that's at the offertory when the gifts are being presented, is to accompany the taking of the collection, the procession and the presentation of gifts. The singing or music should finish by the time the priest has washed his hands and not go on ad infinitum. I was at a funeral Mass recently when the offertory hymn went on for a full five minutes after the priest had washed his hands, which of course is totally balmy. Song texts need not speak of bread and wine or of offering at this point in the Mass. Texts expressing joy, praise, community, as well as the spirit of the season are also appropriate. Since the preparation of the gifts is preparatory, instrumental music, except during Lent of course, or silence, may be far more effective at this point. The prayers accompanying the placing of the gifts on the altar are based upon Jewish table prayers. Now in the revised translation of 2011, we haven't just bread to offer as in the old text, we are actually in the process of offering it and to God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. These words express praise to God for the gift of creation and for human involvement in the making of bread and wine. 
Now, since wheat needs to be ground and grapes crushed before the bread and wine are made, the element of sacrifice is implied. The Mass is the sacrifice of Christ, and in union with him, through the ministry of the priest, we offer our lives to the Father. If there is music, the offertory prayers are said quietly by the priest. If there is no music, he may say them audibly. The bread and wine, the altar, the cross, the priest and the people may all be incensed at this point. This shows honour to the bread and wine, soon to become Christ's body and blood. Honour to the priest who represents Christ, and honour to the congregation, God's priestly people. It also represents prayer rising up to God like sweet-smelling incense. As the priest washes his hands, he says quietly, Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities, and cleanse me from my sins. The priest then invites the congregation to pray. In the revised text, it runs like this. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In keeping with the Latin text, this implies that more than one sacrifice is being offered. Yes, the Mass is a single sacrifice offered by all present, but each member of the congregation has his or her own individual input. The presentation of the gifts concludes with the prayer of the offerings. There should be a brief pause by the priest before he begins the dialogue before the preface. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh